Welcome back. We have talked about Kenya as a tourist destination, and I did mention that is the feature we are having now. And for this feature, I would like you to think about Kenya as different types of travel. Some people go for safari, some people go for conference, some people go for beach holiday. There are those who have been going for the slum holiday. So those are the things you need to think about. What kind of holiday would you like to take, especially when you go to Kenya? Let's hear from the people who runs Kenya Tourist Board and people who are in the Ministry of Tourism. Tell us, uh, Cecil Mbarele, what have you done right to be able to uh, attract such kind of uh, people to come here today? Can you... um, well, one of the things that we've done is uh, we do a lot of marketing. And uh, to do marketing, you have to put in quite a bit of money in it. Uh, we've engaged a local uh, company, marketing company right here in the UK that does the marketing for us. And uh, this company has been able to link us very closely with the, the, the trade markets, the, the travel markets uh, in, in the UK. In this case, two operators, you know, the travel journalists, so that we are able to engage them on a day to day. We do that either through our exhibitions when we come over, when we come for our familiarization tours in the UK, when we come, uh, we also do it online. So we are able to engage them every single day on what's happening, what's new in Kenya, and, and what they need to know if a, there's an, a certain development that affects tourism, whether positively or negatively, it is our responsibility to keep in touch with the, those people. I'm going to challenge you because we have seen like the Ministry of Housing accessing the diaspora big time, encouraging them about investment. We have not seen such an outreach from the Ministry of Tourism. Why is it? that you have uh, actually not uh, invited or worked with the diaspora in terms of what the product you've got and even engaging them to take the holidays back home. Why is there no outreach? Um, I must say that, um, yes, uh, we haven't done much with the Kenyan diaspora here. And uh, we've just started during our tour this time round. We, we had a chance to, to engage the diaspora very keenly, very deeply. And we, we, we are now beginning to tap into very many Kenyans who want to market their country back home, who want to take tourists back home. And we are telling them, you know what? You probably have made several friends while you're here. You're the best ambassador for Kenya and you can start to bring your friends to Kenya and that becomes a part-time business for you and um, that way we, we, we think that the more we engage the diaspora now that we know how to engage them we have made contact with them we will make this relationship even closer as we move on.